Hello Scorpio and welcome to my spiritual oasis. Here weary souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. Today we are doing your areas of life reading for the month ahead. We're looking at the next 30-ish days or so from now so that we can determine what our month's focus is going to be. And of course we're going to do a deep dive reading later in the month on that topic. So as I shuffle out the guiding energy for your areas of life reading today, I would love to invite you to join the Kindred family by subscribing to my YouTube channel if we're not already connected. Clicking like on the video, of course, supports my channel and I do appreciate the support. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if something resonates with you today. If you're interested in your own personal reading, you can connect with me on Etsy. Link is in the description. I curate all kinds of content on my Etsy shop to assist you and other Kindred souls like you on your spiritual path and purpose. So check that out if you're feeling moved to do that. Guiding energy is a vitality through our fig. I love this. Number five energy. We also have some Taurus energy. Vitality. Feels like the sun. Love that. All right, let's move right into the love zone. Love for Scorpio. I'm like the head. This is love in all its ways, shapes, and forms. Self love, familial love, romantic love. The love of. So we have the seven of pentacles. Let's look at the pursuits section. Earthly pursuits, career, business, work, school, job, reputation, five of cups, partnerships. Partnerships talks about the blending of energy, either within yourself or with another person or entity. Page of swords. Wealth. Fruits of your labor, blessings, abundance, output, currency of exchange. We have the four of pentacles. Okay, we're pinching pennies, Scorpio. What's going on? Let's look at happiness, the measure of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. Ace of Swords. And we have success, the measure of accomplishments, purpose, our mark on the world, achievement. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. I first want to note there are no majors here. Um, I feel like it makes a lot of sense why your why vitality is your focus. I mean, you have the Seven of Pentacles in your love zone, so either there's stagnation here. Um, or maybe we're just resting, but it feels like stagnation. That was actually the first thought that came to mind there. Stagnation in our, our heart space, our, our love sector, um, particularly in its manifestation in the real world. And then we have some emotional distress or emotional unfulfillment in our pursuit section we're pinching pennies in our wealth center um our partnerships there could be something either new happening here something starting here but it's small you know with the page energy some small communication maybe doing some text messaging it feels it feels too light for you scorpio Okay, we're deep divers. I'm a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Mercury. We're deep divers. We like the deep topics. We like to just dig in and get in, right? And it feels very surface level, very like crumbing, crumbs, crumbs this month, Scorp. Um, that's just what it feels like. Just the whole reading kind of feels like crumbs, and so it makes a lot of sense that you. You want that, the vitality, the life, the renewal. Like, you're like, blow my shit up. Like, I, I feel like you would have been happier seeing the tower in here somewhere. That's just what I'm, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm vibing, okay? Um, feeling stale, feeling stagnant, limited, and therefore unfulfilling. To note that happiness and success comes from making moves, making efforts, working everyday grind towards our truth. I feel like happiness for you is, is 
coming to truth, that clarity, that aha moment, or that idea, like some sort of idea that comes to mind that's like, yes, that is what I should be doing. That's what I should be putting all my effort into. You're, I'm feeling like you, you know that it ain't right. You know that it's not right. It's not fulfilling you. Um, you're pinching pennies over here. You're, you understand that your wealth, the fruits of your labor, are it's not it's not abundant it's strict it's restricting so i feel like you you understand that that's basically saying that you you're not doing what you're meant to be doing because if you were you'd be in a place of abundance so just feel like there's stagnation here so i feel like that's going to be our focus for you getting down to that stagnation um how do we push past that what is our ace of swords? What is our aha moment? What is our truth? What's that clarity? What do we? What is that which we want to work towards? That's connected to our vitality that makes us feel alive. Um, so that's definitely going to be our focus for the month, Scorpio. These are the messages I've channeled for you today. Don't want to prolong it. Um, if something resonated, do drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe if we're not already connected. I'll see you in the upcoming message. Bye.